Hey guys, this is your friend Maynard from Civil Center and I welcome all of you back to our channel another video on Tecla Structural Designer. So in our record session we have a doubt on uh, how to you know connect the beams between a circular column and square column. So let's uh, try to solve that. So first of all let's open a new file and and after opening a new file we'll just create uh, the normal process that is the creation of construction levels after going to models let's uh, give a level below let's give it a height of minus 1.3 meters and then above it let's give it a height of uh, 3 meters this will do as SSL structural slab level slab thickness let's give as 100 and uh, uh, let's okay let's take one level for now base plus one only G ground floor and then okay and after that let's uh, make some uh, you know, construction lines here uh, grid lines this is the base so let's make a grid line here of let's say your 2 meters function plus f2 then 2 enter and after that we will take some parallel lines and then take it a parallel length of 2 meters and then we'll join this grid line and then again we'll take parallel grid lines of uh, let's say 2 meters the basic 2 into 2 grids which we are making and after that we'll just click on escape and after that we can just define our columns so let's uh, make uh, suppose these two columns as our default uh, you know rectangular columns and then uh, here we can uh, just change the type of the column here the section we want to go new and we're going to go for circular here diameter of 300 or let's say 250 or 300 let's go to 300 and then ok and then give the circular columns here and now uh, there were the problems of connecting the beams so let's see the structure in 3d first so this is the structure which is visible in the 3d view so now we'll go to the base level and assign some plane beams so let's assign some plane beams now so now as you are seeing that the beams have been assigned so yes uh, you know the, uh, by the graphical in the user interface it may look a bit uh, you know strange but everything is okay if you just click on validate then uh, option will also you know get validated and if you also want to change the sizes of this as well you can also change the sizes of this particular two columns select these two columns and uh, make them you know 400 dia then it will match more uh, like this 400 dia just taking for reference so like this we are making and uh, this has been collected if you validate the model and this is all good and we can uh, simply uh, go to construction levels and then make this source as base and then ok and then after that go to construction levels make this uh, as unique and then ok and we can also define a slab here uh, go to this particular structure window go to levels go to structure 1 and then define a slab here so we we'll define the slab you know, let's also apply some loads and check whether everything is okay or not just to show you uh, applying taking some uh, dead loads and then we go to loads and full UDL of let's say a 5 kN so like this we have applied and structure 1 also uh, this is the dead load full UDL of 5 kN let's apply this and also the particular imposed loads of uh, level load of 5 kN per meter ok we have applied and the structure as you can see uh, dead load and the live loads have been applied imposed loads have been applied you can reduce this imposed load uh, also let's give it 2 so after doing that we can go uh, to you know uh, that's uh, loading and then we generate some combinations uh, go to generate and generate some combinations here and then we'll check whether 
everything is good or not go to design then design all static so as you can see everything is good now so we have you know successfully designed the model so uh, you might have you know faced a question in like there is some gap here so what is the, what will be the connectivity so there is no problem in that so don't go by the user interface so uh, just uh, it takes the center line so it's it, it's not that perfect but uh, when uh, there will be a time of site execution we uh, do manage between the circular and the rectangular columns so uh, the user interface is not that advanced uh, between the connection uh, of a circular and rectangular column but a structural point of view it's okay you can also check the uh, like the analysis results also uh, you can go to this uh, particular uh, results view also and uh, also you can uh, check for any load you can just uh, check uh, the particular uh, forces the axial forces forces value you can check the deflections and reactions so everything uh, will be visible results let's check the shear forces so uh, as you can see you know everything is uh, normal in this so we are not uh, don't be uh, you know just uh, uh, confused with the uh, user interface or the 3d view so that's all we can do the connection of uh, beams in between circular and rectangular columns normally as we do and uh, by the looking it may not look uh, perfect but uh, structurally there is no problem with that so hope i uh, we have solved your query that's all for today's video bye bye